we will begin by using the decimal to hexadecimal formula and this might be useful for you if you're involved in engineering or software so to begin with in the cell we wish to display our hexadecimal values we begin by typing equals and then we begin by identifying the formula so we type deck for decimal then the number two and then hex for our hexadecimal values then we open our brackets or parentheses and the next parameter we need to enter is the number so this is the value the decimal value that you wish to convert so rather than typing in a absolute value we can use the cell reference so if that number changes in the future it is converting that cell rather than absolute value so we can type in the cell reference of our first decimal value which is cell D5 then we enter a comma and then we enter how many characters we wish to display for our hexadecimal value and we enter this value surrounded by quotation marks so we enter our first quotation marks let's say we want to use four characters and then we will close our quotation marks and then we will close our parentheses or brackets and if you're currently enjoying the video please remember to subscribe and then we hit enter or return on our keyboard I can see it has returned our hexadecimal value for a decimal value of 16 so what we can do now is we can use Excel's autofill function to copy down this formula for our other decimal values so all we need to do is to select the cell with the current decimal to hexadecimal formula in it and use the autofill function and drag this down and you can see it has completed our formulas for our remaining decimal values okay everybody i hope you found this useful thank you for watching use my box please remember to subscribe and we'll see you again on another video soon bye bye